I missed you. Welcome or welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. My name is April and this is April Budgets. Hi, how are you? Happy Eclipse. Uh, did you guys get to see the eclipse today? Um, I saw like a little bit of it. Uh, I got out of work like right when it was kind of like the peak. So I caught a glimpse of it. But where were you um, during the eclipse of 2024? Leave, leave it down below. Where were you? So today's video, I wanted to just do something fun. I'm in such a good mood. It's sunny outside. It's warm outside. And I just wanted to have some fun with you. So for those of you who are new, hi, I'm April. I am an all cash budgeter who has ADHD and dyslexia, and I am just trying to get back on the budgeting wagon. I fell off a little bit. We're gonna get back on the wagon together. So one of the ways that I'm gonna get back on track is by continuing to save for my emergency fund. One of the ways I like to save is by playing some savings challenges. Now, typically we do mini Mondays, but I thought, how about we do this as well? And then we can kind of trade off. You guys can let me know which ones you like better. So Two Sister Bees is one of my favorite, favorite YouTube channels. Um, they definitely inspired me, Jen from Two Sister Bees, as well as April. They both inspired me to actually start this YouTube channel. I am a member of the Scratch Off Club and last month they gave, they didn't give, there was 20 of these kits available. Excuse the ink on my hands y'all, I just noticed that. So let's go ahead, I want to show you what I got. I have some cash over here to play with. Um, I believe there's um, like between 90 and 100. It's the money that would have gone into my emergency fund. So we have 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, and 94. I like to put between 50 and $60 a week away in my emergency fund. Um, I do like to do more if I can as well. If you're a beginning budgeter, I would really suggest starting an emergency fund and have a car maintenance fund. Definitely have one of those. So this was the scratch off kit that came. This is actually April. <laughs> so of course I had to get it. They have the cutest theme, Cozy Cottage. And let's go ahead and open this up. I believe April and Jen both package these. So if, if either of you are watching, thank you so much. Okay, I always love opening Happy Mail from them. So it comes with this cute little um, card, um, Scratch Off Club member. I just think these are so cute. And then it comes with a cute little Scratch Off or color and save on the back of that this is the coolest thing home is where the honey is but guess what it's not just a bookmark bam you know she added a savings challenge on the back of that and this this looks like a typical card right and it's so cute and so fun boom cute little scratch off and this is so, oh my goodness, there's, I just love it. It's like decorative on one side. And then we have a color and save on the back. And then of course we have the scratch off and then there is the directions on the back. Oh, after completing the front, treat each symbol as one through 12, roll two dice and save again based on whatever number you get. Okay, so we're gonna do this and then Miss April only created 
she only created 20 of these and I got my hands on one and I am so excited. Ooh. Now, I just want to say, um, first, April, holy moly, the packaging, the details, the cutest ever. So before I open this, I just want to say, you do not need any of this to A, start budgeting, and B, save money. You don't need any of this. Um, it helps me. It makes it makes it fun for me it also gives me some something to make content with but you do not need any of this i just want you to know that um do not go into debt to try and save money i was feeling sad and so i just i couldn't resist this how stinking cute is this this is furry and it is a cute little mini binder <laughs> that came with cute little challenges and i am just so tickled to play these and we're gonna try and get to them all i am so so excited Along with my cottage, um, this cottage theme, my cod, my core, my cottage cash theme, we have um, sunflower savings. This is a coloring challenge. I believe this was, um, it came with, or it was a freebie, or maybe I paid a few dollars for it. I don't really remember. But let's go ahead. I'm going to sort this out and let's get playing and saving. Okay, so I have everything all out and I just want to say I want to do something from everything and hopefully we can finish this in the month of April because I've already ordered maize. So let's get started. I missed something. So inside were these cutie patootie little stickers. I do know that her and her family, they are huge um, fans of Kauai. I, I think that's how you say it. So that's, I just love her artwork. But this card was in here, and this is just one of the reasons why I, like, just love them. So it says, hello there, Busy Bee. Please find your cozy cottage kit enclosed. We hope that you find joy and happiness in both your savings and your home life. We thank you so much for being part of the hive. Two sister bees. And then she enclosed this cute little card. It's just so much fun. Um, April limited edition kit number three. So that just, oh, I just think that's so awesome. The personalization is awesome. Okay, so let's get scratching. Let's scratch off as many as we can. And let's start with the top. I absolutely love their scratch offs. Okay, so we have a little teacup, a cute little vacuum from Budget with Mama Bear. And I think this needs charge. Do you charge this or is it a battery? I'll have to find out. Okay, so we have the coffee. Okay, the coffee. Scratch the teapot or cup. Save based off the current season. Spring, $1. Summer, $2. Fall, $3. And winter, 4 It is currently spring, so we are going to put $1. Mind you, I'm going to put all of this into the one into one envelope, um, except for the coloring challenges, um, just because I don't want to get too confused. We can go ahead here. How about this? Let's roll the dice and see where we should go. So that was number one. Where are we going next? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just to make it a little bit more fun. Oh, how cute the little bunny rabbit. Okay. 
got that cute little bunny on the back. Scratch a bunny or a candle. Save based on your current time of day. Morning three, afternoon five, night seven. It is currently like, it's five o'clock. So let's just call that, we'll call that nighttime. So we're going to save seven. Okay, what is next? Let's do one more. And she did include this cute little sparkly dice too. Okay, two, one, and two. Oh, cute, another cute little teapot. I just love how she put like a game inside of a game. I just think that's so fun. So another teapot save based on my current season it is still spring nothing's changed and we are up to nine dollars okay i think we can go one more time three one two and three that worked out very nicely we still have another scratch off And this one looks like, oh, a cute little, is that like a mason jar? Oh, scratch a bunny or a candle, save based on your current time. It's still um, nighttime, so let's do the 10, and we'll put the three back. So that was that for the that scratch off. I'm going to go ahead and keep it separately because we're going to put the the color and save in a different envelope or perhaps because one second. oh my goodness I am so upset I just realized that I was not um, recording and I just did so much okay just a recap and I apologize I colored $20 worth um, on this one. This was a color and save $1 for every color. And I actually read out some fun facts while I was coloring this because I know some people don't like to watch other people coloring. So I will tell you the fun facts because I want you to know a little bit more about me. Um, fun fact number one is I love watching movies. I especially love watching movies on repeat. That's probably a symptom of my ADHD. Then we went ahead and did this cute little scratch off and we ended up scratching off $11 and this is so darn cute. And then next we just colored three symbols on here for $2 each and the fun fact for this one is that I love the color purple. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so upset, but it's okay. Um, there's, there's plenty more and we will do it the next time too. So, and I really hope you love the idea of me saying some fun facts about me. All right. So let's go on to this color and save. And this one again is $2 a symbol. So let's go ahead and see how many we're going to, okay. We're doing six symbols, and that is for $12. I don't, let me see if I can get change. Okay, I got some change. And I see cute little shamrock, so let's do a green. And the fun fact about me is that I don't have a creative bone in my body. That was four, five, and six. Um, yeah, I'm just, I was more of an athlete in school. So fun fact about me. Okay, so that is that for that color and save so cute let's put that right there 
Oh, I so missed doing savings challenges from them. Okay, let's go and hopefully we can play a couple of games in this cute little binder. Let me zoom you in a bit so that you can see. Okay, and this is where these must come in. So start, multiply the number rolled by two and then save the amount. Add the amount rolled plus, oh, okay. So we are going to start at start, which is $1. And then I think we're going to roll. And that is four. One, two, three, four. Okay, multiply the number rolled by two and save that amount. So that is $8. Two, three. And eight. So that's nine dollars going into this one. Let me cross that one out. Multiply the number rolled by two and save the amount. Holy moly. I feel like maybe instead of multiplying that, just so that we can keep saving, let's just multiply the two and we'll put five in there let's do it that way because i want to play a couple of more and that is the beauty of it being your savings challenge you can do whatever you want and they so encourage that so these envelopes are so cute <laughs> okay how do we play this Okay, do we need, I think we need two dice, and I happen to have another dice that came specifically from Two Sister Bees, so let's see what we get. So we have a three and a two, so three and two is this cute one, and that one is a dollar. Ooh, this one is a fun one. Where was it? Three and two. Oh, it's a cute little birdie. Okay. Do we dare try again? Because these numbers scare me a little bit. All right. Six and one. Holy moly. Fifteen. Let's add the five and one together and let's save six dollars. And of course, in true April budget style, I need change. Okay, I got a couple of fives and a couple of ones. So let's save the six. And I can already tell that this one is gonna save me a lot of money and that's gonna be so much fun. All right, next, save any odd number. Okay, so this one is um, a roll. How cute. Okay, I don't think we're going to get to the last color and save, but that's okay. Um, in our next video, we will just do that one first. So let's go ahead and roll. And we have a four. Four dollars plus the next roll. I'm, I don't want to roll again. Let's just save the four dollars. So that's that one. Oops, I forgot to put this one right here. Okay, and that one is $4. So cute. This little binder is the cutest thing. I wonder where she found this. Okay, and this looks like the last game. Roll your dice and follow the guide below. Okay. So we got four. Save $4 for every occupant currently home, including pets. 
Okay, so right now it is just me and Phoebe, and I have, so me and Phoebe, we have Ariel, Pumpkin, Poncho, Tommy, and Sebastian. So we have 28, and let's go ahead and add the eight and the two together for $10. Ooh, how does she think of this? So cool, okay. So yay, we, we made it through the entire cottage um, binder. And good news, we have $3. How cute, okay. We have $3 left, which means, yay, okay, we got through every single one. I'm so excited. Okay, so save $3 for every color you use to complete the picture. So uh, luckily, we have $3, and we can color in all of these, and I get to tell you... A couple more fun facts about me. Um, my favorite animals <laughs> are kitty cats. I grew up in a very, very small town. Population 5,000 people. Very, very small town. Um, what's interesting about living in a small town compared to now is I I was in middle school when I was in fourth grade. Who else? Or fifth grade. Who else? Because nowadays, um, middle school starts at sixth grade, and I just find that so weird. Um, one more fun fact. The last fun fact is I am a natural redhead. My red hair is 100% real. And so is the tube that comes along with it. <laughs> okay, so that was the last one. And look at the cute little dashboard that came with. Oh, that was so much fun. And I tell you, it's, it's going to make like these challenges and wanting to do everything... Um, it's going to make me want to save more than just $50 and that's what I was really hoping like something to get me so excited to want to finish these and play them because they're so fun that I would want to save more so I think this coming week who knows like ooh, it's going to be so much fun okay y'all I really hope you enjoyed this video I know I enjoyed making it I am so sorry for the chaos but it wouldn't be an April budget video without a little bit of chaos um will you do me a favor and comment down below what was your favorite game I played and don't forget to tell me where you were when the eclipse happened on April 8th 2024 and until next time, stay amazing, my friends. Bye.